<clears throat> All righty. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I call <laughs> this meeting to order. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access uh, the meeting may do so via the Amherst, um, Amher the Amherst Town website, that's www.amherstma.gov, or via the Amherst, uh, you, or you may also watch um, later on on the Amherst Town YouTube channel. Uh, no in-person attendance of members of the public will be per permitted, but effort, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately process uh, access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Um, um, and as I mentioned, um, uh, soon after this meeting, um, the meeting will be accessible on the Amherst, uh, Amherst Town YouTube channel. I call this meeting to order. Okay. And I want to say that the meeting is being recorded. So if anyone else is recording this meeting at this time, please tell me now. Okay, I can see that there are the okay. four of us and I don't see any other participants. Okay. All right. So with that being said, then we will move on and I will share my screen. Um, uh, let's see. Share. Okay, so here's our agenda for today, but I think you guys have copies of that. Yes. Um, so I'm going to yeah. scoot over to our meeting minutes. Um, we do have the meeting minutes from June 16th where Richard was not present, but Ken was. Um, do we want to approve these or would you feel more comfortable tabling them until Ken is able to join us? I think we probably should table that. that okay. My own view is that we should table them until Ken is with us. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, All right. So we'll skip over those. We'll table those till our next meeting, hopefully. And then we have the minutes from July 28th, okay. which was our last meeting, which the four of us were present. Have, have you had a chance to look those over? Lee? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I move to approve the minutes of July 28th, 2022. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. All right. Then we will move on to our excise abatements. So as you see here, we have one for calendar year 2021 in the amount of $99.95. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we have uh, 13 for the calendar year 2022 in the amount of $683.19. So both years totaling $783.14. I move to approve those abatements. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, moving along, we have here the warrant to the, the uh, collector's office for commitment number four from the Registry of Motor Vehicles for Excise Tax in the amount of $76,888.88. Um, so the second page here you will see is the commitment to the accounting office, again, with that amount of $76,888.88. And the last page here you will see is the commitment actually entered into Munis. Um, so you'll see there was a total of 438 taxable uh, excise bills that were sent to us and three that were exempt. So again, you'll see that total of $76,888.88. Okay, I move to approve that commitment. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, that was all the hard work we had for today. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. <laughs> um, and so what I have next for you is the assessor's update. So what we have been working on um, is working with Bishop Associates on the sales analysis for the end of the year. Um, we've pretty much completed that. We have a couple of things left to do, but that's pretty much done. Um, we have completed the inspections for our building permits. Um, so this is any building permits that were pulled throughout the year. Uh, what we do is we, we have a list of them on the record cards and we go out and take a look to see if they're done, if they're not done, what percent they're complete. Um, if maybe they just decided not to do them, we just close out the permit on our end. This is different from the building department. Um, so we have completed all those inspections with the exception of one, Teresa and I are going out today to do a measurement of a deck. Um, and then I'm just 
just finishing up the entry into the into vision of those permits. Um, so really what we're working on now is preparing to input um, the, the, our data into Gateway for our finalizing of our tax bills. Um, I'm sure we'll be touching base with Lauren at some point very soon from the DOR to see where we're at with all of our revaluation stuff. Um, and then of course we have our daily stuff, our excise, our um, you know deeds, things like that, phone calls, all that stuff. Um, but that's really the, the most important things that we're working on right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, do you, are you feeling adequately staffed or can you keep your head above water or? We can keep our heads above water. Um, we are struggling a little bit because we are slightly short staffed at the moment. Um, but we, you know, we're, we can make do with what we've got. Um, the collector's office is struggling a little more than we are because of vacations and things like that, but, um, but we can keep our head above water. So, okay. yeah, so we're doing all right for now. Um, and that's, I think that's really the gist of what we have for today. I know this is extremely <laughs> short. That's uh, that's do you fun. have, do you guys have any questions for us about anything that we're doing or anything that we've talked about in the past or. I I take it that um, that the um, the presentation that you had prepared is falling off the back burner, so to speak, for the council. At the moment, yes. I think if they if they decide that they want to have that presentation for the residential exemption, we would have to at this point um, redo our numbers because these are all based on fiscal twenty two numbers. Um, so at this point, I would ask if they wanted it to wait until we get our approval from the state for our fiscal 23 values so that we can give them more accurate information. But the presentation is put together as you guys all saw. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it, at least it's just a matter of updating the numbers. Yeah. What is the date? I'm sorry, Lee, I interrupted. Go ahead. No, I, I just want to ask, are, are you taking the initiative to, to remind them about the presentation or are you just waiting for them to? Just waiting for them at this point. We have, um, we've asked a couple of times and just, you know, they were really busy. And so at this point, okay. we're just waiting for the council to um, come back to us to see. I mean, it may be something that they're not interested in anymore. And that's why it's sort of dropped off. Um, the, the president is aware, the president of the council is aware that you have prepared something, correct? Yes. I believe she may have seen it. Um, it was sent off to a, a while back. It, it was sent off to Paul to review, and it may have been um, sent to uh, the president of the council as well. Do we have a date for your annual presentation? Um, we don't have a specific date yet. I think it'll be very early in, um, or I should say, I shouldn't say very early, but it should be early October, I believe. Early um, October, ah, okay. Yes, yep. Um, maybe the end of October, depending on what council is, is doing and what other people have um, to input into Gateway. But uh, for us, we'll, we'll definitely be done early October. Okay. And there, so there's a mandated vote, isn't it? Uh, right? Um, yeah, that's correct. On both the split rate and the residential exemption, right? Correct. Every correct. year. And every year. And every then year. Um, they, you know, the council does have to vote on the tax rate and all that, but uh, basically they're just saying, yep, we agree with the DOR because they can't really, there's not much they can change with with what the DOR has provided. Um, and then our data, our sales analysis, our LA4, all that sort of thing. Um, you know, they 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 look at it, they see it, they, but there's, I mean, they're, they're not the assessors. So there's not much that they can do to change that. The state has approved that. They're just saying, okay, yes, we agree with the state. We agree with the assessor. Right. Okay. So. In terms of timing, when, when will you be submitting the, the state data? Um, so I will be in touch with Roy. Um, I saw that he was actually trying to call while we were meeting. Um, so I will be in touch with him this afternoon. Once I finish the um, data entry for all the permits and uh, the inspections that we've done, um, then he and I will finish up the sales analysis um, and move on to other parts of, of the, um, the process. So um, I'm not a hundred percent sure as of yet, but, uh, 
I will definitely have a better answer for you at our next meeting. Okay. All right. I'm set. So I think all we have to do before we go into uh, executive session is to schedule a meeting. That's right. And also, I just before we go into executive session, we just want to let um, the public know what no we're doing. Um, okay. So looking at September, at the uh, moment, the assessor's office has the 8th through the 29th available. So those are all Thursdays. So the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th. Okay, the 15th, I'm on the Cape. So. Okay. And I'm going on the 29th to the Cape. Okay. <laughs> Do we want to look at the 8th or the 22nd for now and see what Ken's schedule looks like? Um, I think we should um, go with the 22nd. And, okay. Uh, and, and then, because we know we have two, we know we have two for that. Okay. Right? All right, and hope Ken can make it. Yes. Oops. Set. September 22nd and the 930 works for everybody still? Absolutely. That's fine. Okie dokie. That's better than the 11 that we were doing. Yeah, yeah right. I think it's nice because um, A, it, if anybody from the public wants to join, it's first thing in the morning. So if they do have to take time out of work, it's, it's right away and then it's done. But also it gives us the ability to, if we need a little bit of extra time, we're not rushing because it's lunchtime and everybody has stuff to do and they have to go. So I think right. it's nice to be able to, right. to do that. So as long as everybody agrees, then our next scheduled meeting will be September 22nd at 9.30 a.m. Okay. Um, and for us, uh, we will keep you posted on the hybrid status. I expect to be able to have a few of us in person um, and somebody remote with the public if anybody joins. Okay. So going into executive session, we'll be discussing a few personal exemptions. Um, and then we intend to close the meeting at the close of, of the uh, executive session and we will not return to public section. Okay, so we have disclosed to the public what is the, the nature of the business that we're addressing in executive session. Yes. I move that we, I move that we now go into executive session with the intention not to return to a public meeting. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Okay, I will stop recording. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.